And now my statement on the latest Benghazi lies. This nation was founded on pillars of truth and justice. It's who we are. It's what we stand for. It's why American patriots broke from King George III's tyranny. Yet the Obama administration's relentless affront to the core values of this republic continues to chip away at that very foundation. They laugh at you. They look down at you. And they dance by the Obama playbook of delay, deny, lie, and then plead the fifth. It's all theater to them. The latest performance, former CIA chief Michael Morell swears to tell the truth and incredibly claims his removal of the truth and substitution of lies about Benghazi and his attempt to change the course of history was not political. In my line of work, when someone swears on the Bible and admits he lied and his false claims become the official version of the United States government, it would demand a presentation to the grand jury and a subsequent indictment. He starts. I took out the word Islamic in front of extremists. Um, and I took it out for two reasons. Um, most importantly, I took it out because uh, we were dealing with protests and demonstrations across much of the Muslim world as a result of the video. And the last thing I wanted to do was to do anything to further inflame those passions. You remove any reference to Islamic terrorism, any reference to Al-Qaeda, all references to an orchestrated attack because you didn't want to inflame passions in the Muslim world? Inflame passions? They'd be high-fiving each other in the middle of the bazaar. You don't think the killing of four Americans, including an ambassador, burning us in effigy, desecrating the American flag, is the result of already inflamed passions? Are you stupid, too? A little history here, Mr. CIA. It started in 1979 in Iran with the taking of our hostages by Muslim terrorists. Then they started killing us. 1993, the World Trade Center bombing. 2000, the USS Cole. 2001, the Twin Towers, the Pentagon, Pennsylvania. And you think you're going to piss these people off? They already hate us. And by the way, how do we know who the enemy is if you don't identify them? There are all kinds of terrorists. Morell, you lied to us. You lied to Congress. You knew it wasn't a video and you perjured yourself. You are a political whore. And then, even though the truth was that our CIA warned us and you about the dangers in Benghazi, you take that out. And your reason? This would have been seen as an attempt to make the CIA look good. Look good? It was the truth. Mr. CIA, you didn't just sell your agency to the politics of the Obama re-election campaign and the cover-up for the Hillary 2016 campaign. You sold your soul and you perjured yourself for money now making a fortune, working for one of Hillary's dearest friends. So she can now continue with her lie that she knew nothing about the dangers to her friend, Ambassador Chris Stevens. Now, I'm not a religious fanatic, but there was a man in a garden who took 30 pieces of silver, who denied and lied. What was his name? So you admit you lied to protect the woman who would be president, who ignored and rejected the pleas of her ambassador and the men who were murdered. Proud of yourself? And you sell your fellow CIA men and women for your personal ambition? Even comic book characters know what the truth is. Truth and justice were betrayed by you, your president, and the woman who would be president. 
it's not just the four men murdered. It's not just their families battered and beaten with the changing narrative from this administration, including from the mouths of the President Obama, Secretary Clinton, and Secretary Panetta. And it's not just the American people. It's our republic. It's our foundation. It's who we are. How dare you try to change that?